Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. I have a special just get well to one of my favorite vocalists in the game from one of my favorite bands of all time. Milo had a heart attack. He was released from the hospital, and if you want to see a legit, genuine smile, watch when he gets, like, dropped off after being in the hospital. And it's just one of those things, I don't know, like, it's just legit, like, uh, made me remember, like, you know... There's a lot of bands that I love, and it's kind of embarrassing that I've never really seen live. Now, I honestly, like, have always loved the Descendants all, like, that whole family tree. Like, when I got, like, All's Greatest Hits a long time ago, oh wait, I forget what all release it was, but it came with like a family tree and stuff. And I just used to have it ha hung up like over here back in high school. But like to me, Descendants, like it's again to me embarrassing that I don't have any physical records. Cause like legit, one of my favorite bands ever. Like, I'm not saying that just because, you know, Milo. But I do want to give my best wishes. And I doubt anyone from the Descendants is going to watch this video. But, like, one of my favorite bands ever. And just get well. Take care of yourself. And just know... Like, I only associate the Descendants with good times on my bicycle. Like, and also, like, you know, when some girl would stop hanging out with you, you'd throw on certain records, and it'd be like, like, I know that feeling. But, like, one of my favorite Descendants tracks, I need to hear live at least once. Like, King Diamond had that gnarly triple bypass and came back stronger than ever. But, there's one certain Descendants track that means a lot to me, personally. It's off one of my favorite records of theirs. I mean, Milo Goes to College. Total classic. I got this shirt at a record store in Denver. I was just like, whoa, there's a Red Descendant shirt. Like, I just thought it was badass looking. Because I, I normally only, like, would see, like, White Descendant shirts. And, like, I always wanted, like, a yellow one, but, like, when I saw the red and black, I was like, whoa, sick. And, uh, I just had to get it. I was like, and, like, it was, like, a death metal, like, weekend. Like, I was there for, uh, like, the Spectral Voice record release show for Eroded Corridors of Unbeing. And, like, I'm buying a Descendants shirt, like, at a, at a record store the day before. Like, I, I just... As soon as I'm, I'm a real sucker for the Descendants. So when I saw that Milo had a heart attack, at first I honestly thought that was the name of like a new Descendants record because they kind of have followed the life of Milo, the character. This dude who I will get tattooed on me, the FBM Bikes Way. And it 
I really regret not getting the FBM Vikage t-shirt. If anybody watching this has it, I'll, I'll trade you, like, a frame for that thing. That's, like, to me, like, there's one of those, oh my goodness, like, I, it's one, of, I, as soon as I, I, I don't know why I just never bought it when it was out, I kind of just never thought FBM would go under, so when FBM did, I was like, oh no, I never got that, like, maybe Crandall has some lying around. Well, if anybody has medium through XL, hit me up. I'll figure something out. XL, I'm a little picky with, but, like, I don't give a shit. I want that bikeage t-shirt. Because not only is it, like, my favorite Descendants song, probably, but, like, it's, like, lyrically... It's something that just, <laughs> like, it sounds corny, but, like, it just reminds me of, like, just a lot of stuff, honestly, but mostly just good times. But at the same time, like, it's just a, it's just a great song. Like, and I wish nothing but the best for the rest of the Descendants as well. I mean, it was awesome that Milo had company in the hospital and everything. And when it comes to, like, you know, kind of, like, early American punk, I really feel like, you know, the Descendants, along with, like, the Minutemen, I'm, I'm sorry, Black Flag, like, I, I like Black Flag, but I would rather listen to the Descendants. Don't kill me, but, like, that's just the honest truth. But, still, like, you know, I understand the importance, but... It's just one of those songs, you know, like, how can you not, like, like it? But Bikeage by the Descendants. Oh, we gotta put, we gotta put Coolidge on. It's just there. Yeah, screw it. Well, again, one of my... I know it's not metal, but I don't care because I'm not a cool guy anymore, as if I ever was before. It's a... What a great record Descendants All is. And it branches into... Again, there's a cool mythology behind both bands and it's neat to look into but like they're, they're just one of the few bands where like whenever I listen to them I don't want to say nostalgia but like I first heard The Descendants in like 1995 and I just instantly thought they were the coolest like band but I kept having different uh, like run-ins with the band throughout my entire life, and that I can't think of another band that I've had that happen to, like or like with you know like um because. I, I remember getting, like, a Punkarama record 
like one of the compilations and it had a descendant song on it. I think when they signed to Epitaph and I just remember being like, Whoa, like like this is actually Yeah, like nineteen ninety six, everything sucks. That record right there, but I remember like my friend who was a little bit older than me, he was like, But dude, like, have you ever heard I don't wanna grow up? And I was like Ah, like what I, I never heard it, yeah. And as soon as he played it for me, like this record just one of my favorite albums of all time. I don't wanna grow up by the descendants. Or the few oh for the proud, the few, my bad. So good, and like this is 1985, 38 years old, you get Descendants, I Don't Want to Grow Up, alright, hold on, we gotta put on Silly Girl, oh no, we gotta put on My World, and then we'll close this off, cause this was the first Descendants song from this record that my friend played for me, and I was just like, Whoa, like this rules. And then, like, after hearing this and going into their back catalog, I just went through, like, every few years I would have a little Descendants kit. Or, like, a little all kit, but mostly Descendants. But then it just got to the point where. I found myself at least a couple times a month, like, digitally, too, like, just when I would be working on the Patreon, like, I'm normally listening to the Descendants, it's just the way it is, and just in the morning in general, like, unless I'm doing a little bit of meditating, then I have some recommendations, but I think if you watch the channel, you already know what I'm going to pull out. I mean, you need some Karma Moffat in your life. I highly suggest sitting still within, sitting still without. Now, I know Paul grabbed this. And the Blood Incantation and Evo Records video. And the Morning Trip Records version. And when Paul picked this up, I was just like, wow. Like, because I had only, like, heard Karma Moth. I had, like, when I saw that this got reissued, thanks to Liz, we got uh, some sick viewer contributions, and we got these two Karma Moffat records, uh, Chomo Lahari and Sitting Still Within, Sitting Still Without, both amazing New Age ambient releases. Killer artwork on both. And they're both just amazing records. But Milo, I know you probably gotta take it easy. Definitely check out some Karma Moffat. You'll definitely be chill. And like obviously some tangerine dreams, some you gotta check out this. Some Edgar Froze. Sorry if I mispronounced that. But this solo record, so good. Like, it's Kraut Rock, ambient, new age, really good stuff. 
Edgar was in Tangerine Dream. It's a killer record. I absolutely love it. Good stuff. But when I saw the news about Milo, it just made me think, you know, like, go see your favorite band because they're not going to be playing forever. So, like, if you miss Black Sabbath, you know, we're probably the last generation. I was watching an interview with Drug Church's frontman. And he was saying, you know, I think I'm not a Led, I'm not a Led Zeppelin fan. Sorry, I'm just I'm not. I'd rather just listen to Black Sabbath and call it a day. No more arguments. That's it. The end. Sabbath, bloody Sabbath, sabotage, volume four, self-titled. Come on, master of reality. But, like, I, I don't know why everybody's, like, like, thinks, like, War Pigs is, like, the best black. Well, not. If you, if you talk to somebody who knows what they're talking about, they're not going to say that. Unless maybe it is. And if so, good for them. But, uh, nah, I, I can't. But then there's the people that legit will, like, take, like, a mob side, like, B track and it's like mob rules my bad like a mob rules like B B track and it's like all right like you're just picking that to be obscure and you know whatever but there's like you know it is what it is it's one of the like same with the Descendants like they have such a massive catalog it's like what's your favorite Descendants song you can legit get stumped. Even if you're, like, a big fan. Because, like, I really, as as much as I, like, want to say, like, oh, you know, my world is probably, like, my favorite absolute, like, bottom of the line favorite Descendants song. But then, you know, I listen to Good, Good, Good again. And then, like, I'll listen to Wendy again. And then, like, I'll even listen to some newer stuff. And it's like. I don't know, but, like, all I do know is Descendants are just one of, if not the best bands when it comes to just, like, punk, but just in general. Like, I, I can't think of a band that just, you know, played a style of music and... Even though the times changed and, like, trends changed within that scene, they still just kept on with the old formula, but kind of getting better and better as time went on. But at the same time, there's this charm to records like Enjoy. I mean, again, it's a, I'm trying to see what year this was, hold on, that's, that's gonna bug me, 86 was in joy, but like, I, again, like, it's not my favorite Descendants record, but it's got some bangers on it, a couple tracks, I'd say more than a couple tracks, but, you know, there, there's some fire on here. You get Enjoy, Wendy, Hurt and Crew, Sour Grapes, Get the Time, Orgo Fart, Cheer, 80s Girl, Green, Days of Blood, Orgo 51. Put on Sour Grapes. I want to figure something out real quick. <laughs> I 
How can anyone seriously thumb down Descendants? <laughs> song is so good! I wish you folks loved this as much as I do. I'm sorry. If you made it 20 minutes into this video, then you hope for the best for Milo, same as me. But, I made this video just to kind of like let you folks know, like, hey, Immolation isn't going to tour forever. And also, can you hear us? Death to Jesus. Oh, I forgot I have to do this. I love this box set. So sick. But, like, for real. Your favorite bands are not going to tour forever. And when you have the chance to see some of these bands, even if it's in, like, a setting that's not the best. Like, I remember I, I could have seen Descendants at the Warp Tour a couple of times, and I just was like, eh. Like, I just, you know, I, I just didn't want to go to the Warp Tour. I, I, I mean, I went to the Warp Tour in 96. 90, wait, was it 90? Yeah, 96. I went to the Warp Tour. And, uh, you know, I just remember trying to get as many compilation CDs as possible. But Punkarama 3, that was one that, like, really, uh, I don't remember what was on it. I think there was an H2O. I think H2O had just done their second record. I think, uh... What, what, not Faster Than The World, that was a third. Uh, thicker than water. I think I had that. Uh, try, but you can't bring me down. You bring me down. Try, but you can't bring me. I think it had that song on it, or it had, um, the more than you could see, thicker than water, like the actual like title track. But I don't remember off the top of my head. This was long, long. Long time ago. But the main two points I wanted to get across, I didn't mean for this to go on this long, was go and see your favorite bands live. Support your favorite bands when you see them live. Like, I am so glad I have Dead Congregation under my belt. But. Am I kicking myself in the ass for missing them the last time they played the States? Absolutely. It's one of those bands you you it's it's legit like I, I, I felt like a poser because I couldn't get a ride and I just couldn't figure out how to get to New York City. Like I just didn't have enough money for both the show and the bus and it was just embarrassing. And it pissed me off because there's no reason I should have missed a show like that. It was the same when I missed Necropsy Odor with Mephetic Corpse. But, like, I, I don't like... I, I really hate that neighborhood. I, 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 it's just one of those things sometimes. And, like, missing Motor twice. Oxygen Destroyer twice. There's certain bands where I'm like, how did I... Like, I still haven't seen Mortiferum live, and it fucking bothers me. And, like, when I finally saw Mortuous, like, I talked to um, Colin after the show, and I was like, dude, I needed that. Like, seriously, that felt like... Because... I hadn't been to a death metal show in over a year, and the year before that was Blood Incantation with Immolation, I think. I don't, uh, I'm drawing a blank, it might have been with, oh, it, might, it was Vermin Womb, God is War, Blood Incantation, Mortuous. The other tour was Fool of Hell, Primitive Man, Blood Incantation.
All right. I'm sorry, I mixed that up, but the new record that just came out, and like I was obsessed with it, and like they did a great mix of songs from In the Wilderness and Upon Desolation, but like just one of the best, and I love Mortuous, and just talking to Colin after their set, I was like, yo, like, that was so good. Way better, like, legit way better than I could have possibly expected. Like, I knew they were going to be good because I've seen videos, but, like, yeah, Mortuous, like, if somebody was like, hey, take me to a death metal show. I would take them to see Mortuous, because it was just some, like, true, real, just, hey, we play death metal, check it out, like, sick, I, I just was loving it, it's like if somebody, like, legit was like, hey, take me to see a modern, hardcore band that's, like, super gnarly live, you're gonna end up at a God's Hate show. <laughs> Like, that's just, uh, I mean, that right now, R.I.P. Nails. So, yeah, you're going to end up at a God's Hate show. Maybe Jesus Peace, but, like, God's Hate, definitely. You're, you're going to end up there, and there's going to be spin kicks. Just warning you. But, again, get well soon, Milo. Tales to the Descendants period for being just legends, being one of the best, having one of the best logos ever, and, you know, as we all get older, stuff starts getting gnarlier, like, so, get well soon, Milo, and... This comes from me, but also I hope the whole entire rest of the channel send your love to the, the even if you don't like the descendants, send your love to Milo. Good dude. And just the descendants in general. Thank you for years of awesome music. And I know it's not metal people, but I feel like this is just respect needed to be shown and I really you know hope for the best when it comes to Milo and if you get a copy of the new decibel the homie Josh Rodriguez and his project septic fumes got in the demo column Dutch Pierce wrote up I sent Dutch like a link couple months ago, I was like, yo, check this out. So, you are, well, it was Dutch's choice, but I'm glad he liked it, because I was like, I was like, I was like, he'll like this, and I just sent him the link, because I told Josh, I was like, I'm gonna send this to a few people that, like, work for magazines and stuff, and he was like, if you want, man, and I was like, alright. So I just immediately sent it to Dutch, and I was like, yo, like, this is sick. And he was like, yeah, this, this is. <laughs> this is really good. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, like, septic fumes, yo, like, just check it out. And you'll be like, yo, this is sick. Oh, here we go. I have actual tape number. Like, I have, like, the special tape. That's only one-sided, and like, yeah, mine has my name on it, and it's sick. Yeah, I have tape number one out of 25. Fuck your life. <laughs> but nah, seriously, it's sick. Like, I'm, I, I love this. Dab right, never white. You gotta love septic fumes, seriously. Such a good promo tape. On the money. 
But thanks for watching as always. Get well soon, Milo. Hails. Dope.